So what you need guys is some hot glue, you need a G7X or any camera you're using, some scissors, some velcro, uh, some gaffer tape so you can cover up the labels and some toy fur. The toy fur and velcro cost me five bucks all together. So first of all, I want to cover this part up uh, straight away so the wind doesn't blow onto it. So what I'll do is I'll get some velcro. So I want to cover this up. I want to measure the velcro and this part all together and see what size it is. Now there is actually some holes here. So I'm going to cut a mini hole slit in this area here as well. So that way it can have some uh, area for the microphone to actually listen to. Just like that, and I'm gonna take this bit out. That way, it'll be a gap for the microphone area here. Just like that, it will look like this. And that way the microphone can actually listen to you when you talk. Now I just have to do the same thing for the furry bit. It'll look like so. Now I just have to cut, oh my gosh. The lady said I can't just buy like a tiny square, so I had to buy the whole piece for $3 something, which is okay. Now, whilst I was doing this, the hot glue gun was already on. I'm gonna put glue on this felt. All I need to do now is wait for this to dry so the glue doesn't melt into the microphone. Whilst this thing is drying, I'm gonna modify the cannon so that all the labels are hidden. So they don't get stolen overseas as much. And so if you don't wanna mark in the labels, just use some electrical tape. So this is before and this is after. Furry thing should be cool now and it's not heated so the glue doesn't go on. It looks kind of funny, but hopefully it works. You can see it's quite windy now. You can, if you can see my hair, it's, it's how much is the wind is blowing. So this is with the wind muff on. Um, I'm hoping that the audio sounds a lot better on this, and I'm gonna take it off right now and see how it is. This is with the wind muff off. I'm pretty sure you might hear some wind peaking right now. For a five dollar DIY, I think this really helps, especially if you check out the footage of the test. There's actually no wind peaking at all, so it actually helps the audio a lot more better. If you like these type of videos guys, remember to hit subscribe, hit like, comment below and what, tell me what you think about the wind muff. And now you're going to do it as well. See you guys in the next one.